Okay. Welcome to OT. My name is Brittany. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Laura. Hi, Laura. And who's this? This is Henry. Hi, Henry. How are you? He's good. Good. Well, go ahead and have a seat. Okay. Henry's going to sit right here. Okay. Because he's three. Tell me a little bit more about Henry. Okay. Um, Henry. Can you fill that out? Is that um, yeah, so okay. just name and gender and then birthday and um, if there's a diagnosis. Okay. His name is Henry. He's a male. He's white. Um, today's date is... The 24th, yeah. Okay, sorry, it says year first. 2019, 10, 24. Um, his birthday, he's about to turn... Um, four in December. So he's a little, he's almost four. Um, chronological age, almost four. Yeah, so you could put like three. Okay, I put three there and then I'll let you kind of figure it yeah. out. All right, um, I think that's it. Oh, and then I'll go ahead and list my information. So my name's Laura. I'm his mother, so I'm a female. Um, I'm a teacher, and my years of education, I'm going to have a bachelor's degree. Okay. Okay, um, is there any diagnosis for Henry? Um, they said that we're delayed a little bit developmentally, but no formal diagnosis. Okay. So we're going to just start um, with getting to know you guys a little bit. Um, basically what I'm looking for is what your guys' self-care routines are so I can better know where he is um, with a typical age group and then um, how things that challenge your home routine can be improved because okay. we can know a little bit more about that. Okay, perfect. So um, let's just start with breakfast. So um, does he prefer certain food textures? Can he handle um, normal table food? Yeah, um, he really likes waffles as long as I cut them up kind of small so he can chew them. Um, oatmeal is another one of his favorites. And um, we always normally have like some type of juice or um, milk. He really likes milk. Okay, and does he tolerate um, pureed foods like applesauces? Yeah, I mean, he's able to eat oatmeal, applesauce. Um, we don't really... Soup, he kind of likes soup, but yeah. it's hot, so that's the only why. Okay. Um, and when he does eat, does he use his fingers or is he able to manipulate uh, utensils? Uh, he'll use a fork, but a lot of times it's hard for him to kind of get the food on the fork. And so a lot of times I help him. Okay. And with spoons as well, does he have a hard time scooping the food? Yeah. And then does he use a knife? at all to like spread soft foods? Uh, no, I, I normally do that for him or okay. my husband, either one. And that's totally fine. Um, these, just to preface, this um, assessment kind of covers an age bracket, so he might not do all of the things. Okay. Um, can he lift a bottle and drink from a bottle or is he in cups now? Um, we still use a sippy cup just because I don't want everything spilling everywhere. and um, So he is able to do that on his own, mm -hmm. but uh, I would really like to kind of try to get him towards like using a regular cup just because sippy cups are hard to wash yeah. and hard to keep up with. And he does have a favorite one. So sometimes we have a temper tantrum over the fact that he doesn't get that one. Yes. Well, I mean, it's preferences, you know, you got to yeah. have that one cup the way it is. Okay. Um, and does he lift it, his cup, his soupy cup with two hands or one hand? Uh, he'll use both. It has a handle on both sides, and so he'll use both hands to, okay. to help him. And um, this may be a little advanced, but does he pour his own drink or? No. Um, he is able to, like, you know, the water fountains that you can, like, push. Yeah. So he'll be able to, like, push his, like, cup on there, and then I just have to tell him, like, when to pull it away because otherwise yeah. he likes to watch it over. <laughs> Um, but he does not pour anything. I pour all, everything for him. Okay. Um, brushing your teeth. So just normal getting ready in self-care. Um, does he brush his own teeth? Um, he tries to. He's able to hold the toothbrush. But um, we normally, like, you know, we very much prompt him in what we're doing. So we're like, hey, open your mouth. And 
Uh, we definitely put the toothpaste on for him because otherwise that's a mess. Yeah. And you know, cleaning messes is not that much fun. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I our normal routine is when we get ready for bed, like I normally will say, okay, it's time to brush teeth and he'll go in there and try to start, but we normally help him through that. Okay, process. so you kind of finish, just yeah. make sure you did a good job and everything like that. Um, can he brush him up his own hair? Um, yeah, I can give him the brush. It the brush doesn't always like sit right on his head, so sometimes he'll like use like the part that doesn't have the bristles, and then he tries to comb. But um, he struggles when he has to cross over to the other side, and so I normally do that side for him. Gotcha. And organize the part and all that stuff. Um, does he allow his nose to be wiped if it's runny, or does he blow his own nose? Um. He normally fights us if you try to like touch his face, even like at mealtime when things are really messy. He doesn't like being touched in the nose or like the, the mouth region. Um, Does he tolerate himself doing it or is it just when other people do it? Um, I guess he would tolerate himself doing it, yeah. Okay. He'll kind of wipe it away. Does he ever start the action himself? Like he notices he has a runny nose and does it himself? Only if it interferes with what he's playing with. If, oh, okay. it, if it stops like dripping on the toys. Okay. Um, when he's washing his hands, does he like wash them sufficiently? Does he put his hands out to be washed and you wash them? Or does he go through the whole process himself? Um, so we're kind of finishing up potty training. We're in that like breaking zone still. Like still have accidents, but we're still trying to potty train. Um, he does know to wash his hands at, before meals, and so he will, like, put his hands out to be washed there. But after the bathroom, a lot of times I'm the one putting his hands under the sink. Be like, come on, like, we have yeah. to wash our hands. Um, does he rub his hands together by himself? No, I take the soap and lather it all, okay. all on there for him. And then does he dry his own hands by himself? If I hand him the towel, he will try, but they're never fully dry. So a lot of times they get wiped on the pants and by the and shirt. Typical kid behavior. <laughs> yes. um, as far as um, washing himself, like showering and things like that, um, does he wash his own body, or are we still in the stage where bathing is a like a combined effort? It's still a combined effort, but if I put the soap on his hands, he just doesn't know what to do with it. Like he just sits there and like plays with it and doesn't know like where to put it okay so a lot of times we use a washcloth and we have them and then I'm guessing that the same thing goes for drying hands as drying body that kind of yeah okay. he can he attempts but it doesn't you know always work yes. right <laughs> um assisting with dressing so does he dress himself or is it you're assisting with certain things and he can help along. So because of the potty training, he's been able to like help a little bit more with the dressing. So he's a little bit more comfortable with like pulling his pants on. Um, we still pick out his clothes for him. Putting the t-shirt on is a struggle. Um, and given the choice, he would definitely just run around naked, like with undergarments on. Well, he's a yeah. typical boy. <laughs> <laughs> um, can he unfasten the buttons himself, or does he need help with those? Um, we really don't have a lot of clothes that have too many buttons. We try to get the elastic because of the potty training so that he could get them off quickly and, yeah. and hopefully eliminate some of the accidents. But, um, yeah, I don't think we really have many buttons, so mm -hmm. I wouldn't know if he's able to do that or not. And that's okay. Um, let's see. Just got to make sure... If it's a front opening shirt, can he take those off himself? Um, no, but he is able to like take his jacket off. Okay. So if like he's not like he can unzip it, like to pull the zipper down, but zipping it up is a problem. But he is still able to take it off himself. Okay. And then shoes and socks. Can he put on his own shoes and socks? He cannot put on his own shoes and socks, but he can take them off very okay. easily. <laughs> a lot of times we spend time trying to find them. <laughs> and I'm guessing that we're not at the stage that we're tying shoelaces. No, not yet. Um, and that's fairly normal for okay. this age. Okay. Um, and you talked about how you're already kind of in the toileting stage. 
Um, does he assist you with taking off his pants and things like that? You said that that happens. Yeah, as long as we kind of cue him, but he will tell us like he has to go and things mm-hmm. like that. And does he wipe by himself or is there still like a He needs miss? checking, yeah. yeah. He definitely needs checking. Does he sit down on the toilet, grab the toilet paper, and manage the toilet seat by himself? Uh, he can like, I, on the if it's like an adult toilet, like if we're in public, I will lift him up. Yeah. At home we have like the adjusted potty seat for him, so he has the handles to kind of hold himself. Um, toilet he paper, okay on that one. yeah, he does do okay on that at home. Yeah, yeah, um, is a little easier than in public. Um, toilet paper, I'll hand to him, but he he attempts on his own, and then we'll we'll check from there. Okay. Awesome. Um, this is more about like whether he indicates to you about when he needs to go to the bathroom. So does he? Um, it says consistently indica- indicate the need to ner- uh, urinate within time to get to the toilet. Um, yeah, I, it's kind of been hit or miss. Like I said, we're still yeah. in that, that stage. We're still having some accidents. But for the most part, yeah, he'll tell us. Um, and then does he have the ability to take himself to the bathroom? And I'm guessing that he doesn't just walk off. No, himself. he'll tell us that he has to go and we'll still help him. Okay. And then same thing for bowel movements occasionally tells you yes okay those are harder for him than the urination which is fairly normal in the potty training stage okay so this was um just the self-care which is what we're working on a little bit more but um there are a couple other sections that we can cover if the um the needs arise which is more like social skills and mobility okay um and we can do those at a later date. But I, this is going to give us a lot of information that will help um, kind of line up our treatment and help him get back to typical behavior. Perfect. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. It was nice to meet you nice both. Nice to meet you too. Come on, Henry.